Hello there, it's Diorama Don here. Welcome everybody. So when I normally start a diorama, I've normally got um, some point of reference by uh, looking at photographs on the internet. Uh, but in this case, I can't find a photograph of what I have in mind to make. Uh, so it's going to have to be um, make it up as you go. So what I want is um, a train going over a bridge and then a tank going along the road and un going under the bridge. So um, a rock face this side, rock face this side, train at the top, tank at the bottom. Um, the tank is 135 scale. The train is not. <laughs> but by the time the uh, train is up on the tracks and hidden basically by the uh, uh, bridge, I don't think it will necessarily matter. It's just it's just a bit small, that's all. Uh, so what we need is a train bridge. So I'm going to use this uh, stuff, just thin lollipop sticks. I normally use the wider version of these, but um, these are just normal everyday lollipop sticks from a, a hobby shop or a stationers. So I'm going to use those. So I've cut two pieces uh, six millimeters wide and made some angle iron on two pieces. This is going to be the length of the bridge. So they will sit there and they will sit there. This is going to be the side of the bridge like that. And then I've got another load of pieces uh, cut to the height that I want the bridge to be, the sides of the bridge. Uh, in this case, two and a quarter inches high. And I've cut these to six millimeters as well, quarter of an inch. And I shall make some H section, H section or H section. So just gluing pieces together like that to make the make the H. And they will go on the uprights. And then there'll be some diagonal. Well, if I show you one side that I've made. So we've got the two pieces of angle there. And there's the H section on the three uprights. And then these three uh, things, what are, uh, struts. These uh, just sit single pieces of uh, lollipop stick. And that, that will make up the side then of the... Uh, side of the uh, bridge like that okay so obviously two of those I need two of those and then underneath I've made some much bigger H section I've had to join some pieces together but um, I don't think that'll matter too much and then that will sit as a girder underneath the bridge like that and then there'll be another strut going down there another one that side and of course, there'll be the same thing on the other side. And then I can uh, work out how wide I want the bridge and just put pieces underneath as to how wide I want it, which will be that plus the train plus the other side, whatever that is. Looks like it's going to be about three inches, something like that. OK, so I'll carry on, uh, I'll make the other side of the bridge, the one like that, and put these girders on the bottom, put my other struts to the side there, and uh, go from there. So uh, I'll be back in a moment and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I finished the bridge off. I'll show you a little more closely in a moment. Um, it was three inches wide and I used a, a piece of cardboard uh, because by the time I've stuck my track down and put the ballast between the sleepers, you won't see the cardboard anyway. So uh, that, that won't matter necessarily. Um, we've got the uh, H sections uprights um, and the angle iron top and bottom. And then I set it onto these um, uh, H section joists uh, to give the, the, the width of it and then these uh, trusses in between. And then I put these plates where the trusses join, uh, top and bottom. So 
that's all it is just a few lollipop sticks stuck together okay so what we need to do now is get it up uh, four and a half inches high so that it clears the tank that uh, will be on the road underneath so the uh, mm, the rail will be at an angle like that and then the uh, the road with the tank on will, will go under like that something like that so i've got to somehow block in I, I don't really know i've got to make this up as i go along really um i've got to block in the the, the sides there and put a road in and um really i'll come back and show you what i've done i can't really tell you what i'm going to do because i don't know myself yet so uh, I'll, I'll do something and then come back and and show you what i've done <laughs> okay so i've sorted out what the shape of the diorama will be uh, we've got the, uh, the the bridge finished with two pieces of rail at the top <clears throat> so i've got to cut those at an angle on the top there to cut the rail um, I'll just take those out for the moment. I, I finished the the bridge off. I just gave it um, a coat of uh, black um, car spray and then uh, some red oxide car spray over the top. So th I need to uh, white dry brush it a little bit to just to bring out the uh, the highlights. But that's basically the, the bridge finished. So I've put it. I've, I've used cardboard all all through the process so far. So now I've got to sort of somehow fill all these gaps in and and make it look like a, a rock face. Uh, roads no problem. That's going to be okay. So the tank coming through there will be fine. Uh, but I've I've just got to fill these parts on on the corners. Still still not quite sure how yet. Uh, but I think it will involve um, lots of newspaper and tin foil. But um, I'll go ahead and do something and then come back and let you know what I did. Because <laughs> I don't really know myself yet. Uh, but it, the, the bridge itself, I mean, if, if it's the bridge you're interested in, uh, that's, uh, that's all finished. Uh, that worked out pretty well, I think. Okay, so I'll do a bit more. Uh, come back and we'll see what it looks like. So I'm not sure if you can see properly, but the these the gaps you remember between the pieces of cardboard are filled with uh, pieces of brown paper I just had lying around, uh, and then crumpled up some uh, kitchen tin foil and stuck that everywhere. It's done up like a chicken. <laughs> um, a hot melt glue will stick beautifully. In fact, in fact, too beautifully, it gets stuck to everything. Uh, so that, that that's nicely, the, the tin foil is nicely stuck to the cardboard. So now I've got the, the shape of the, the rock that I want, just by crumpling the tin foil. Uh, then I can go over with my trusty wall putty or wall filler. Um, I had to get a big pot this time because this is quite a... Uh, a big job. Um, so I've mixed some uh, wool filler with a little bit of water so it brushes easily and as you can see I've done that side. So all I have to do is just uh, only a very light coating because I still want the texture of the uh, tin foil to come through. I want that shape. So I'll just carry on and do this side. And as you can see, I won't do it all. But that, that's what it will look like. And then when that's dry, I can go over with my uh, grey tile grout and then dab, dab away at it just to pick out the, the highlights. And I'll come back once more <laughs> and we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, so I finished the diorama off. Uh, if you remember, I had a, a cardboard frame, if you like, uh, and then covered that with silver tin foil. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, some watered down uh, wall filler. 
and then on top of that um, some tile grout grey tile grout and then before it dried uh, just dab it off with a damp sponge just to bring out the uh, the white highlights of the uh, rock face there that's uh, that's the other side so it looks reasonably like uh, like a rock face um, I added a little more black tile grout to the grey to make it darker just to distinguish the colour between the rock face and the road uh, so that when I put my tank in there um, I think it looks uh, a very impressive way of showing off uh, your scale model vehicle whatever it might be okay so what I've used are lolly oh, let's just push that back a bit Ooh. lollipop sticks cardboard and tin foil so that's the only materials that I've used easily accessible very uh, readily available the cardboard you can even glue pieces of packaging together to make the cardboard necessary uh, most kitchens would have a roll of tin foil in and all you need is a few lollipop sticks uh, that's all I've used no paint I've not used any paint at all apart from the white dry brushing maybe on the the, the bridge itself but uh, I think that's worked out reasonably well I've got quite happy with the outcome okay so I will leave it with you uh, have a go yourself let me know how you get on um, in the meantime please subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and you will be notified when similar videos like this come along I normally try for at least two a week uh, click the uh, share button click the like the uh, <laughs> like button yeah and I've initiated the uh, super thanks button but of course that is entirely up to you uh, so again thanks for watching uh, I'll see you in the next video and until then one more turn until then I'll see you next time